destroyer of world. Kitty had a valid cause for not shaking Edward Teller's hand at the conclusion of Oppenheimer, a three-hour biopic about J. Robert Oppenheimer's life, focusing on his role in the controversial Manhattan film. This video contains spoilers, so if you haven't watched the movie yet, we recommend you to stop that video. The story of Oppenheimer takes place over several years. It showed the iconic theoretical physicist long before he was recruited to spearhead the secret program at Los Alamos. While the film puts a heavy focus on the process of actually creating the atomic bombs that were eventually used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II, the aftermath of Oppenheimer's involvement in the Manhattan Project was also tackled. In fact, the bulk of Strauss and Oppenheimer's conflict was due to the latter's security clearance hearing, where the teller played an integral role. Kitty wouldn't forgive Edward Teller for testifying against Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer's reputation was mysteriously restored years after he lost his security clearance. After being rejected, he may have felt vindicated when he was seen in the Oppenheimer movie in the White House accepting the Enrico Fermi Award from President Lyndon B. Johnson. The occasion also served as a chance to reunite with Teller, whose evidence at his security clearance hearings was damning enough to support the narrative that he should be ignored. Even after Teller had betrayed him, Oppenheimer extended his hand and shook it. Unfortunately, Kitty wasn't like that. Instead, she gave him a chilly gaze and forced Teller to leave. Nolan's Oppenheimer film made it clear that Oppenheimer was more laid back when approaching his biggest career crisis. In fact, there wasn't a single time when he overtly expressed his emotions about the matter. He remained calm even when the private panel intensely interviewed him. Things were different with Kitty, on the other hand. She was fired up and frustrated with Strauss's scheming. Multiple times, she asked her husband to fight back. The fact that she refused to shake Teller's hand years after the controversial hearings, not to mention just seeing Oppenheimer doing it, showed that Kitty never forgave him for testifying against her husband. Why Kitty's refusal to shake Edward Teller's hand proves how different she was compared to Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer had two affairs in the Oppenheimer movie. The first was his brief affair with Tatlock, which ultimately influenced his security clearance hearings. Due to her affiliation with the Communist Party of the USA, he eventually wed biologist and ex-communist Kitty. Tatlock and Oppenheimer both had more subdued personalities, but Kitty was unique. Throughout the security clearance hearings, she exhibited ferocious protection. She was, as I said, enraged, and she made sure that everyone knew it. She responded to the interviews with wit and sarcasm, in contrast to her husband who was polite and generally calm. Hope you liked that video. Make sure to subscribe this channel for more exciting videos.